What's up guys, Josh here from Tech, and with me right now is a brand new entry level phone from Infinix. It's got a massive display, a Helio G70 processor, and a bunch of eye-catching features that make this quite an interesting phone. Or phablet, should I say. Anyways, without further ado, let's go and check it out. Okay, so after carefully removing the lid of the box, right away you'll be presented with the unit itself. Let's just set that aside for now. Next, we have some customer service stickers, and below that is a smaller black box which holds your SIM ejector tool, your warranty card, a clear jelly case, a complimentary screen protector, and an X-Club pamphlet, which is basically a platform where you can interact with other Infinix users. Underneath it all is your micro USB cable, an 18 watt charging brick, and surprisingly, free earphones which I haven't seen in an unboxing for a while. Neat. Now that we've emptied out everything inside, let's move on to the phone itself. At first glance, the Infinix Note 7 is sleek and quite a tall looking device. We've got three color options for this one. Forest Green, Bolivia Blue, and Aether Black, which is what we have here as you can see. Now off the bat, you can tell that the Note 7 is definitely a step above its predecessor design-wise. At the back, we have a center-mounted quad camera module and LED setup with a circular design which protrudes slightly from the rear panel. Below that is some Infinix branding, and wrapping it all together is a simple but stylish glossy holographic-like finish. It has a huge 6.95-inch HD Plus Infinity O display, which is just a mere 0.5 away from being 7 inches, with a cinematic 20.5 by 9 aspect ratio, perfect for landscape viewing, a 91.5 screen to body ratio, a brightness of up to a nice 480 nits, and a pixel density of 258 pixels per inch. A punch hole front camera sits at the top left while the earpiece is at the middle which, mind you, also doubles as a secondary loudspeaker for surround sound experience while a dedicated blue charging light can be found on the right. And when it comes to protection, we get Corning Gorilla Glass although it doesn't mention which version specifically. On the left, you can find the triple card tray which holds two nano sims and a dedicated slot for expandable storage, while on the right we have your volume rocker keys and power button which doubles as a side-mounted fingerprint scanner. The top is flush with nothing, while at the bottom we have your micro USB port, loudspeaker, microphone, and a convenient 3.5mm audio jack to go along with those free earphones. Under the hood of this device is a very capable MediaTek Helio G70 processor coupled with a Mali G52 GPU. Our unit boasts 6GB of RAM and a generous 128GB of internal storage, but there are also 4 plus 64 and 4 plus 128GB variants which should be a little more affordable. Don't worry, on paper, the G70 is a respectable CPU so gaming on this device should be very smooth no matter what variant you end up choosing. As for the main shooter, we get a 48MP main sensor, 2MP for depth, 2 megapixels for macro, and another 2 megapixels dedicated for video, which is available exclusively for the highest variant, while the front camera houses a solid 16 megapixel shooter for all those clear selfie shots, which I can't wait to begin testing out. Running the software department is Android 10, skinned with Infinix's very own XOS 6.0, which looks quite good and is feature packed just the way we like it. Face unlock is also present, which is a feature I personally enjoy using a lot. And finally, powering everything up is a 5000 mAh capacity battery with 18 watt supercharged 3.0, which we're sure is more than enough to get through the whole day and should juice up relatively quick. But stay tuned for our full review to check out how this device's battery actually fares. So that sums up our quick look at the Infinix Note 7. What do you guys think? Is it the next phone for you? Let us know in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell icon and be sure to visit yougalak.com for the latest tech news interviews. This has been Josh and as always, stay safe.